Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Isa and today we'll talk to you about how you can customize your elegant planner. I will focus on the undated version of this planner, but know that there's also a dated version available. However, I am liking the undated uh, planners so much more because you can customize them so much and you can reuse them forever. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start at the beginning and that is your cover page, which as you can see, there's nothing. It's only a black screen, but you do have your navigation bar on the right side. And that's what makes this planner special that you can navigate easily to any section of the planner using the buttons on this side. This planner has several color options uh, that you can choose from. However, any color that you choose, you will get all of these colors of covers. So you can change the cover. Even if your planner has a set color, for example, this one is the black version, you will still get all of these color options for your cover page. So I will show you how you can customize your cover page. And to do that, I'm just gonna bring in some elements, some widgets that I have saved. And this app here is not yet available for the general public, so I'm not going to tell you too much about it. You could use the Files app. I've been using split screen mode to drag all of my stickers, inserts, widgets, and all of my elements onto my planners. And the awesome thing about this system of organizing your stickers and stuff is that you can use any app that you want. As you know, the sticker books I've offered in Printstick come in GoodNotes version, which is amazing if you're using GoodNotes, but if you're using Notes, Shelf, Notability, or any other app, you can use those books. So I opted for this other option and I'm really liking it. So I'm gonna open my widgets folder and again, you can open another window within GoodNotes so you can load your widgets or you can open your files app or your photos app or whatever you have your elements saved. And actually I forgot the first thing I'm going to add is a cover. I have them all here. I like this like mermaid color. I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my widgets and I'm gonna add one of these calendar widgets. Maybe the month of December will be handy. I'll just make it a little bit smaller. Something like this. This can be bigger. Um, I'm gonna look for more widgets. Actually this month I want to get back at working out So I think that I'm gonna use one of my challenge widgets And what this does is you enter whichever challenge you want to do in my case I think it's gonna be like a plank hold and then you just write down here what it is and you set for example day one I'm gonna do 30 seconds day two 30 seconds I don't know, by day uh, six, I might try one minute. By day 12, I might try two minutes and so on. So it's really cool to um, keep track of your progress using this challenge widget. So I'm just readjusting here a little bit. And now I want to add some sort of box so I can enter like a, like a happy quote or some words. So I'm just gonna go to one of my widget libraries. This is widget library number two. And actually this rectangle is good enough. So I'm just gonna resize it and then I'm going back. I'm gonna go to my words, which is this folder. And I'm gonna choose something like this one that says choose happy. So I'll just place it right here and I can now close my stickers. And this is my cover page. Now, when I exit this document in GoodNotes and I go to my main window where I have all of my documents, as you can see, now I can see the cover that I created, that is the miniature that I'm going to see. So that's why I like customizing this page a lot. And I just wanted to mention, of course, you can choose a different color for your cover. So what I'm going to do is just using my lasso tool and I'm gonna tap on it again, just to make sure that I have all of these options turned to on so that I can select all of the elements available on the page. So I make a big selection. I click on that circle, cut, and I'm going to move and I'm going to choose this purple cover. So I'm just gonna paste them here. There we go. Place them. And normally when you move your page, so sorry, what I did is I went to my thumbnails view. So you click on these four squares on the top left corner of the page. And then you can see all of the pages included in the planner. I'm right here in the beginning seeing my cover pages. And I'm just gonna drag this purple cover to the front. And normally that should make my cover be the one that I just moved to the front. For some reason, this is different now. It doesn't happen. So to fix this um, glitch, because this did not happen before, what you need to do is delete this 
page that used to be the cover but of course you don't want to get rid of it altogether because you might want to use it in the future so what i'm going to do is click on select tap on this cover copy all right so i made a copy of it trash send to trash done then i go out now this is my cover that i wanted i had to like delete the original one so that um, this one could go and be the cover but then i go to my miniatures again and i just click on this little arrow click on add page after and paste page and my black cover is back however when i go back the purple cover that i put in the front is still here so that's a little um work around this issue that i don't really know why it appeared it wasn't like that before but still works okay so i'm gonna move on on the pages of my planner i swipe and after all of my cover colors i get to this first page like a welcome page to the elegant planner with some links to princeton social media and shop then this page is very important because most of the elements that I'm going to be showing you today you can download for free but you need a code to do it and that code is going to be located in this page if you get the undated version of this planner the code is going to be down here so where this pink line is and if you get the dated version then the code is going to be on the top right corner this is only true for any elegant planner that you purchased in the year 2020 anything previous to that will not have this code included okay then i move on and i get to my index which is also accessible by clicking on this first button in my planner and here i have my blank sections and this is one of the things that changed from the previous version of the elegant planner so each of these buttons is a section so if i tap there i just open a blank page that i can customize with whatever i want and to go back to the index i click here so for example here you could write a section let's say to keep track of your workouts and i'm actually going to copy this word with my lasso tool so that i can paste it on the section as a title so i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger now this is going to be my workouts section okay and like that you can customize all of these sections with whatever info you need now you do get some ready to use spreads here and this is again the index to navigate to them so you get a daily page you have a yearly log with 12 boxes you get a simple finance spread you also get a more complex like budget planner you get a project planner tracker and a few others and after this page as you can see this second icon which is my calendar icon lit up and that means that this is my calendar page however as i said i'm using the undated version of the elegant planner if you were using the dated version then the calendar would be here however the undated version can be reused forever and therefore there's no calendar included but with the code that i mentioned that you get in your info page you can access and download the current yearly calendar for free and then you can add it to this page so i did that already and i have saved it to my photos app so i'm just gonna tap and find it here you bring it in and then you just have to resize it so that it fits your page better like so and that's it now i have the current or the 2021 yearly calendar now whenever i want to navigate my months from here what i do is i tap on the icons here as you can see you have j for january f for february march april and so on so this is one of the things you can download for free when you buy this planner all right so after my calendar page i'll scroll and i get to i call this like a weekly checklist and you get six boxes you can use one for each day of the week or what i do because it's only six not seven i use the last one for both saturday and sunday and usually what i do here is i keep activities that are recurring for example every monday i do such thing every tuesday i do this so i just write it here okay. and you could also copy this page and use it as a weekly spread anywhere else if you want and the way you can do that is you click on your export icon up here and then export this page image export then you just click on copy and i'm going to go to a weekly spread for example the first weekly spread of january and then I'm just going to paste this page, make it bigger. Well, actually, I want to crop out the parts that are not part of the page. So I'm just going to tap on the image, click on crop. Make sure you have the rectangle option selected under here. Just make a selection to select only the page and not the background. Done. And you have created your very own spread. So if you wanted to use this page as your weekly page, 
you can do that as you can see i just edited my original weekly spread so that's just a little tip something you can do going back to the original weekly checklist and after there i'm gonna go to my little eye icon here and this is a page where i can create my vision board and i actually have an older video showing you how i created mine so i'm gonna link that below in case that you need some ideas or inspiration then you get to this notes page and i love this page because i keep it updated with the current tasks and you know pending things i need to get done and i know that i can always access this by tapping on this icon next you get to your grid papers you have a dotted page and you have a longer dotted page so as you can see this page has dots in the background then you have the same but for a rule page so you have the regular short version with some space for your widgets but you also get a longer version you have graph and you have an old white paper short and long okay so from here we are ready to go look at the months and weeks so this is what a monthly spread looks like in the elegant planner again this is undated so there are no dates but you need to know that the top right corner of every first day of the week in this case that's monday but remember you also have this planner available with a sunday start or a hybrid start and any of those the first day in the monthly spread will be sunday but still the link is going to be located in this section so the top right corner of the first day of the week so if you tap there then the first weekly spread is going to open and actually let me get rid of this one which is the one that we just added so I'm just gonna delete it and this is what the weekly spread looks like in the elegant planner and this is another fun part that we get to because I want to show you you also get access to some free weekly spreads that you can download again with no cost using your code from your info page and you can add them and modify these weeks so I've done that already just to show you quickly and this is what the first spread looks like I added the days and dates already but this is the image okay so this is kind of like a horizontal week as you can see the original week is hiding behind here but you know if someday you prefer to use a horizontal spread instead of a vertical one then you can just download and add this image and you have several options here is a vertical weekly layout however as you can see it covers the whole page so if you feel like you need a little more room then you can use this one okay then you get another horizontal one but also it covers the whole page you get this three box style so some people like to use the first box for morning tasks second one for afternoon things to do and then evening tasks so if you like that you can do it as well and so this is the image so the way i do this is i went to the website which i'm gonna link below you download the spread that you want there's uh, several options you can download all of them if you want the code should be good for all of them so if you want to get more than one then you select the style that you want you add that to cart you go back to the same page select the following style and then add that to cart as well and then you check out using the single code that's how you can download this and after you've downloaded it you can save this to your camera roll that's the simplest way and now i'm in my image tool in goodnotes and this is my images that i have as you can see i have my spreads saved here so let me show you in a brand new weekly spread so this is the original one that comes in the elegant planner but i'm going to add i don't know maybe this one the same as the previous page so you just add this to the page and then you just just the size so it fits right so this should fit your page right but one thing i like i love about goodnotes is that you can adjust the width and the height of any image so let's say that i find this that it's a little narrow so i can just pull these arrows to the side and it's gonna make it a little wider so it fits perfectly same thing if it's too tall i can just make this smaller to adjust so that's pretty cool okay so i have my brand new spread now, something I need to mention, since this is an image, if you go to your lasso tool and let's say that you start adding your sticker, so I'm going to do that right now. Let's say that you add one of these, but then I want to modify my focus sticker and then I, I use my lasso tool to select it. Well, I'm going to select my spread as well because this is an image too. So to fix that, what you do is you just turn off your images from your lasso menu and that way when you use your lasso tool, you will not be selecting any images. So if I have some handwriting here, 
some text that I've added, then I can use my lasso tool and modify that, but I'm not going to be moving my background spread. But now you wonder, how can I move this sticker that I'm using? Well, you just go to your images tool and then you tap on it and you'll be able to select it, resize or delete. Okay, and now I want to quickly show you how you can date this weekly spread or any spread. And these stickers that I'm showing you here, they're, most of them come in the date sticker book that I'm going to link below in case you want to check it out. But basically, I just choose a style. Whoops, let me go back. And then whenever you choose a style that you want to use, I will start adding these to my spread. So I'm going to start dragging the stickers that I need. So second, third, fourth, all the way till number eight. I believe that's when the week ends. I can close this app and I have all of my stickers here. Okay, actually now I need to, I forgot, I need to get them out of the, of, of the way of the spread because I will use my lasso tool to resize these. So I just move them to the side using my image tool. Then I grab my lasso. I will turn on images because I do want to select these stickers, which are images resize, make them smaller to the size that I need. So let me measure it a little bit, maybe something like that. And then go back to your images tool so that you can just tap on each sticker and move it. So first I'm just moving them out of the way until I find number two, which is for Monday. Okay, so I found it, this is it, number two. Then you have number three, Wednesday four, Thursday fifth, Friday 6th, and then you have 7 and 8 for Saturday and Sunday. And that easily you can date your weekly spreads. All right, then one very last tip I have for you guys today is how you can change the background of your Elegant Planner. So for that, I'm going to be using digital papers or backgrounds that I have saved already in this app. So I'm gonna open that folder and I have several options available. Let's say I choose this one. So all I'm gonna do is drag it onto the screen, close my app, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller, depending how you want the pattern. Maybe you want the pattern to look bigger. So let's see, I think something like that works for me. Once you have that ready, you will use your lasso tool, making sure that your images is turned to on, and you are going to copy this piece of paper, paste it, and then start building your pattern. So I'm trying to paste this, I don't know if you can see, so that it completes the previous pattern, something like that. And I need another piece up here. There we go. And now I'm missing the top and bottom. So really you can leave it like this, but if you really want to make it look like you changed the whole background, then you can just bring this piece up here. I'm gonna crop it first because it's a little too big. So let me see if I can get this right. Something like that, let's see how that looks. Yeah, well, I'm not completing the pattern perfectly, but honestly, I think it's okay. And then I'm gonna copy, remember these are two pieces. So grab them all with the lasso tool, paste, and then I just add them here at the bottom. Okay, now all of my background has this pattern. However, as you can see, my sidebar here looks weird because it's still black and it has the paper like sticking out. So yet another gift that you get when you purchase this planner is access again with the same code to your sidebar stickers. I have them saved right here. You get them from January to December or July to June. So whichever calendar you chose, those are the stickers that you're going to need. And you have a ton of different colors for the sidebar. So I pick one that I think is going to work nicely such as this one, okay? And then I just have to resize it to make it match the original buttons. And then I just layer it right on top. So now I can still use my buttons, but I have changed the entire look of my planner, okay? So if I click on May, then that's the spread that is going to open. And if I wanna go back to November, tap here, and I don't remember which week that was. Here, the fifth week of November. That's the one that we have modified. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope that you got some tips and you learned something new today. If you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comment below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and click on the bell to turn on the notifications so you know when there's a new video out. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.